Hey everybody and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve and today joining us in the studio is AMD Roy. Sir, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's Thank so you. good to have you back in here, by the way. Thank you. I like coming here. Yeah, looking looking very nice in your suit. We appreciate <laughs> that. Um, so I know that uh, the, the new R7 series has released. So we just wanted to, you know, talk a little bit about that with you. Um, first and foremost, what's in the lineup? What do we have to look forward to? Well, we've got a, a range of cards to, mm -hmm. uh, to match different budgets and, and different needs. Mm -hmm. um, at the high end, we have the new uh, R265. Very nice. Uh, which we brought out and which we're delighted beats a, comp a competitor's new product. Mm -hmm. And then we have, of course, the 260X, uh, mm -hmm. the 250, and uh, right there at the entry level, we have the 240. Very nice, very nice. Okay, perfect. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, that's six cards. Are you, are you guys trying to, I mean, because you know you got 260, 260X, right? 250, 250X. Uh, why so many cards? What are you guys doing? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. Um, <clears throat> and we would like to have things as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. But you know, the truth is, is that different people have different budgets. True. And, uh, and to a lot of people, a $20 difference makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it counts. And so what we right. wanted to do was make sure that we had a solution for, for everybody that wants to have a, a Radeon. Okay, perfect. And, and so obviously the, the top of that uh, list is the 265, right? So what do you think about the 265 in terms of, of people using them? What, are you excited about it? I mean, they haven't released yet. So uh, what do we have, uh, what, what do you think about that card in particular? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about it mm -hmm. because I think that for uh, a very wide audience, it just hits that sweet spot. It's just a terrific amount of performance for $149. Nice. And, and I think that um, you know, we're, we're giving something to, to people that they, they just would never probably had before at that price point. Right. And so uh, I, I think it's a terrifically exciting product. Very cool, yeah, great price, uh, good performance. Any gamer mm. out there is definitely gonna wanna have that in their arsenal. Uh, but Mantle and GCN, I mean Mantle's, uh, I don't wanna say it's old news, it's awesome, it's new, and it hasn't been implemented in every game yet, uh, but what, what do you think about the future of Mantle? And talk a little bit about GCN with me. Yeah, you know, that, that's a, a great question. We haven't even begun to see the beginnings of what Mantle is going to do. Right. Uh, you should consider in, in many ways that, that what you're getting in uh, Battlefield 4 with mm -hmm. Mantle is, is almost a preview of the technology because um, the ability to either run the same game at a faster frame rate or put more into a game mm -hmm. um, at a given performance level uh, is creating a tremendous amount of excitement at developers. You know, most games developers uh, really want to make uh, exciting games with wonderful effects and the ability to do that without having to necessarily always want more and more and bigger and bigger hardware uh, at a given budget, it has really got the developers excited. So you're going to see a lot more games, a lot more studios adopt it, and you're gonna see a lot more in your games because mm. of it. So um, I'm thrilled about Mantle, and, and this is just, just the beginning. In terms of GCN, uh, well GCN has just been a terrific new technology. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that we now have GCN in a wide range um, means uh, a wide range of products mm -hmm. at different budgets, means that the, the GCN technology, which is enabling things like Mantle, is available to a lot more people, not just to those that, uh, that can afford $400 graphics cards, as much as we love those. Yeah, of course. <laughs> a lot of our viewers definitely have those cards in their systems right yeah. now. Uh, but uh, worth upgrading versus onboard graphics? Would you say definitely, maybe, or not at all? I think that uh, if you look at the, uh, where onboard graphics is today, integrated mm. graphics today, compared to where it was, right. it's come on leaps and bounds. And, and, uh, and we, as we demonstrated with running Battlefield 4 on Kaveri, have a tremendous good base graphics point. Um, but for many people, they want more. They mm. want those higher frame rates. Indeed, if that wasn't true, we wouldn't have the enthusiasts watching this video now. We wouldn't have a, a graphics card business we do. That's absolutely true. So we have a good base, but I think for a lot of people, they're going to want more. And depending on their budget to do so, we've got a product for every need. Excellent. So what would you recommend, though, for someone out there who maybe just has onboard graphics, wants to get a little more out of their gaming? I mean, in terms of R7 lineup, would you just go straight to the 265, or would you recommend something different? Well, again, it, it would depend on their budget. Okay. Uh, in an ideal world, yes, the, the simple answer is, buy a 265, in fact, mm. go and buy a Radeon 290X. Right. But, but we don't live in an ideal world and not everybody has that budget. Right. And so what I would say to anybody watching this is consider uh, the kind of games that you play mm -hmm. uh, and then I would get the best card you can for the budget that you have. 
Right. Maybe look at uh, some of our benchmarks for the cards we have currently and, and the games that we run currently, or check around the internet and see what's good, right? Yeah, And then absolutely. just go for one in that price range, right? Well, I think uh, Newegg is very fair in its testing, so I think uh, you don't have to go too far than from your own website to get a good sense. Roy, we really appreciate you coming in. Thank oh, you so thank much you. for the kind words, sir. All right, thanks. And thank you guys also for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned for more interviews and videos just like this one, and we'll see you guys very soon.